Whoa! Oh my gosh! I can't even believe this! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Vlogmas and happy Magic Mail Monday. It is that time again, time to open some Disney P.O. Box mail from you. I have a pretty big stack of mail next to me. I'm hoping to get through quite a lot of it because I'm still a little bit behind, but I'm slowly, slowly uh, catching up, so I'm feeling pretty proud of myself. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time chatting right now. I'm gonna jump right in so I can hopefully get through um, as much of your mail as I can. As always, thank you so much to anyone who has sent me anything I'm always really grateful and like super surprised whenever I go visit my PO box and they come out with um, some mail from you guys to me it, it means a ton and if I haven't gotten to your package yet it should be coming either in this video or in a very near future video because I am getting caught up and also if you're afraid your package may have gotten lost in the mail feel free to send me an email at the email address down in my description box um, and I can dig around for it and make sure that it's arrived because I, I do think that maybe a couple things have gone missing so please check down below um, and uh, if you think that might be your mail just uh, send me a note and I can be on the lookout for it. Before I get going on the quite large stack of mail I have next to me I just want to say a thank you to my friend Pam who sent me some magic mail that I got yesterday. She sent me um, a little Christmas package and she sent me the sweater that I'm wearing right now which is kind of very festive and Christmassy and she also sent me two Disney Christmas tree ornaments for my Disney tree downstairs and I'm getting quite the collection um, of Disney tree ornaments, but I want to show you the two that she sent me. They're both really cute. So first she sent me this Zootopia ornament. This is Mr. Big, the Arctic Shrew from Zootopia. Really funny character. I somehow like didn't notice that this existed until very recently and I thought maybe I would buy it for myself, but Pam was on top of it and she sent it to me and I love it because I love everything Zootopia and this scene is particularly enjoyable in the movie, I think. And she also sent me this ornament, which I love. It is Ralph and Vanellope from Racket Ralph and Ralph Breaks the Internet. Pam came to visit me for Thanksgiving this year, and we went and saw Ralph Breaks the Internet together. So I think that she grabbed this one for me because it's kind of like a friend memory that we have together. But I really do love Wreck-It Ralph. Um, I love the first one especially. The sequel was fun, but the first one's my fave. And it's fun to have this ornament because I don't have any other Wreck-It Ralph things, and I just love this uh, best friend duo. Oh, and I also just want to quickly show you the card that Pam sent. It's really cute. So it's Santa, but he is meditating in a yoga pose. And since I'm a yoga teacher, this is perfect for me. So love the card, Pam. Thank you. My friend Pam, if you haven't heard me talk about her before, is my best friend from college. She was my college roommate. And every year for her birthday in May, we go to Disney together. And we are coming up on our fifth year of that tradition. And we have a really cool trip planned uh, for this May. I'll give you more details on that later. But um, Pam is like one of my oldest friends, but she's also one of my Disney buddies. And, um, and thanks, Pam, and Merry Christmas. And hi to you and the kitties. The first package I'm gonna open for you on camera today is this box. It's an Amazon com box I believe this arrived at my PO box recently and I took the liberty of opening the tape I often do that before I start filming but I haven't looked inside yet and I'm really uh, excited oh my gosh and whatever is inside is actually beautifully gift wrapped in this like gorgeous green um, sparkly bag I'm gonna keep the bag I love stuff like this hopefully I can wrap something for my family in this uh, uh, for next week and then it does look like there's a little gift note so let me open this up really quick the sun is coming in at a weird angle, so I might have to keep changing my lighting. So sorry if the lighting gets kind of funky. It's a weird time of day to be filming. Oh my gosh. Let's see. The note says, I enjoy your YouTube channel so much. You take me to my happy place on my darkest days. Thanks for being yourself and for finding time to respond to my usually long comments. Merry Christmas from Sarah E. Hi, Sarah E. I know exactly who you are from my comment section. Um, I'm sorry I can't respond to all comments ever, but I really do try. I'm, I'm kind of behind right now because Vlogmas is kind of, it's kicking my butt a little bit. But hi, Sarah, and thank you so much for sending me something. Wow, amazing. So let's open this up and see what is in here. Okay, so this is, oh my gosh. It's, uh, it's wrapped up, but I'm reading the back, and it says something Harry Potter or Hogwartsy. Aside from being a big Dis nerd, I'm a big Harry Potter fan, and many people know that about me, but if you're new to my channel, big Disney dork, also big Harry Potter fan. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful box. It says Harry Potter right across the front. It's a really nice quality box, it's like hefty. Whoa, oh my gosh, I can't even believe this. There's five 
Christmas tree ornaments in here. Look at these. This is stunning. So it is five Hogwarts ornaments. There are four on the corners for the various um, Hogwarts houses, and then there's the full Hogwarts crest in the center. I'm a Ravenclaw, but the details on all of these are so amazing. It's like this kind of sculpted metal, and there's kind of details all around the sides. You've got the house animals uh, kind of at the top of the different ornaments. These are gorgeous. I'm so excited to have these. Sarah, oh my gosh, what a beautiful ornament set. And it's something that my husband is even gonna love. He doesn't really care that much about the Disney tree, but he does love Harry Potter. So I think Aaron's gonna totally dig these. So thank you so much, Sarah. Big hugs, happy holidays to you. And um, I'm gonna go put these on my tree as soon as I finish recording this video. All right, next up I have a package from Jocelyn in New York. So hello to Jocelyn in New York. I think you sent this to me quite a while back. So I'm sorry it's taken me so long to to get around to it. One of my New Year's resolutions is to have my magic mail occur in a slightly more orderly fashion because right now it's all just kind of random. I just grab some things and bring them into my office and get going. Um, so thank you Jocelyn for thinking of me all the way from New York. Looks like there's a bunch of different things in here. So you got a little note on a little Eeyore and it says, Becca, sending you some goodies I thought you might enjoy. Jocelyn, P.S. I send you a pin for your Disney dog collection. Awesome, yeah, I was super into Disney cats, still am. Ever since I became a dog owner, now I like cats and dogs and like every animal ever, so thank you. Ooh, I think this might be the Disney dog pin. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Is this a PTD? Okay, here's the pin, and this doggy is kind of an obscure Disney character. She is from Oliver and Company, and her name is Rita, and she is the only female dog in Dodger's kind of gang of, of ruffian dogs, and I just love her, and I love that she has blue eyeshadow. And this is from the Disney Studio Store Hollywood. It's a Pin Trader Delight pin, and she actually kind of looks like my dog Molly, um, which makes me think that now I need to start collecting Rita pins. In fact, I might actually start doing that because because I am crazy. Um, this is amazing, Jocelyn, thank you so much. And there are two more items that are wrapped up. I'm gonna start with this one because I think this is a keychain. And I actually think this keychain is a Disney Store Japan keychain, probably because there's Japanese writing on the back of the tag. And it is a Marie keychain, there she is. And um, it's got a cute little uh, pearly charm on it and it's beautiful and pink and gold. She's got the Eiffel Tower in the background. I absolutely love fancy keychains. I put them in my bags and I also put them on my keys because I'm someone that loses my keys. So I'll totally use this. Thank you so much. I love it. And there's one more cool little wrap thing from Jocelyn. Ooh, I think it's another pin. Oh, it's beautiful. I think this is a fantasy pin as well. Did you design this? Am I confused? I feel like I've seen this on my Instagram. Anyway, it's actually, I think, Moana-inspired. And it's gorgeous. It's the big, um, beautiful stingray because um, Moana's uh, grandmother kind of becomes that, like, stingray um, spirit. And this is so, so pretty. I love it. Um, and I love everything, like the ocean and the sea. And I'm a big fan of Moana. So this is a gorgeous pin. And, and I will definitely find a place in my collection for this. I really love fantasy pins and the designs and things that people come up with. It's, it's so impressive. And I love official Disney pins, but getting to have a piece of people's, you know, art and creativity um, is, is also super special. So I love this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jocelyn, thank you again for the amazing package. Happy holidays to you and your family. And I'm so excited to start my Rita from Oliver and Company side collection. The last thing I need, I swear, is another side collection, but this is just... I'm inspired. I'm totally inspired by this. This next package is coming to me from far away. This is coming from Australia, from Deborah in Australia. Hello, Deborah. I'm gonna open this up. This is just my P.O. Box address on the front, so I'm not too scared to show, to show it. Take some things out. Oh my gosh, a bunch of things in here. <laughs> so exciting. Okay, so I think this is an envelope that maybe has a note in it. Let me get that out. Oh my gosh, this card is amazing. It's got Snow White on it and it's perfect for me because it says, let's get silly. That is one of the things that I do best. I am very good at getting silly. Um, so I love this card. I'm totally keeping this forever. Oh wow, and there is a very long and very neatly written um, letter inside. And there's actually, um, 
even an additional page of writing. So I will take some time to more carefully read this once I um, turn my camera off. But thank you so much for the sweet note. And she says my dog is adorable, which makes me really happy too. Thank you so much, Deborah. And then she's also tucked in a postcard with another nice long note on it. And it says this postcard is a suburb of Melbourne, which is where she lives. Cool. Here's a closer look at the postcard. It says city of Frankston. Looks pretty, uh, pretty beachy and nice to me. And then she has tucked some Disney goodies into the package. So I think these are all um, Ushis. Ushis, O-O-O-S-H-I-E-S, -O -O -E Ushis. They're like little figures, but they're also pencil toppers. And my friend Taryn over at Twinkle Bell Taryn has like a whole advent calendar full of these things. Um, they're really fun, but she sent me my two favorite princesses and Tigger. So here's a close up of my, my new Ushis. So here is the little Tigger Ushi. I love it. Love Tigger so much. And then in this bag, you have my two fave princesses. We've got Snow White. There she is. <laughs> and also Belle, my two fave ladies. And finally, there are a couple of pins that are wrapped up. I think these might be from Typo, that retail store Typo, which is a really cool store, by the way. And they both look like they are Snow White related. Oh yeah. First we have Snow herself looking very pretty. This would be really cute on like the lapel of my, my jean jacket maybe for my upcoming trip. And then we have Evil Queen and it says, yes, Queen. And that makes me really, really happy too. <laughs> so funny. Thank you so much, Deborah, for all the goodies and for the really beautiful long letter. I, I will spend a little more time reading that um, when I get done filming and uh, get on top of my vlogmas for today. But I really appreciate the thoughtful note and, um, and all the thoughtful gifts. And, and Merry Christmas to you and hi in Australia. Okay, I just reached down and grabbed this package, and this one is also from Australia. It's like an Australian kind of day around here, and I love the stamps. Look at these stamps. These ones up here in the corner are very pretty, but then look at these ones. These are awesome. So you've got um, some marsupials on stamps from Australia, which I, I totally love. So cute. And the return address is telling me that this is from Ancella. Ancella? Am I saying that right? Is it Ancella or Ancella? or something else. You gotta tell me in the comments down below because I'm not always the best at pronunciation, but um, thank you so much and hello, uh, all the way in Australia, second Australian mail of the day. And it looks like there's a bunch of fun stuff all tucked into this um, cellophane. So let me dig into this. I think this might be a note. Yes, it says Becca. And it's even got sealing wax on it. I love sealing wax. Let me break the little seal here. Here is the note. Oh my gosh, Australia has the best Disney cards. So there was just that one that said, let's get silly with Snow White. And now look at this. It's the castle and it says crib goals. That's hilarious. The, you guys are killing me with these cards. Oh, very nice note with lots of little stickers. Cella. Cella or Sella. Is it Cella or Sella? You tell me. Sometimes I'm wrong. When I see a C-E-L, it makes me think of a cello. So like cello, maybe? Okay. She says, I've been watching your videos ever since I got into pin trading earlier this year. I saw these Thomas Kincaid art cards and thought you might like them. I'm sure I will like them. Thank you so much. And here is what's inside. Oh my gosh, all kinds of fun things. Really cute stationery and stickers. Here's the art card she was talking about. I don't have these, by the way. I love all of the Thomas Kincaid artwork so much. I don't think that I am um, alone in that at all. Oh my gosh, Lady and the Tramp, so pretty. And then we have a couple cute Toy Story cards. I love these. And then a whole stack of super cute, loose stationery. I love this stuff for writing notes. Oh my gosh, there's kitties on this one. And then also a ton of little stickers. We've got kitties, bunnies. Oh, some Disney stickers tucked in there. So many fun, cute things. Tigger's in there. Buzz Lightyear and uh, Woody and Bullseye are in there. I love it. All the stickers to add to my sticker collection. Thank you so much. That was such a nice package. I love little stationary stickery goodies. So those will all be filed away as neatly as I can into my top drawer with my stickers and like loose stationery and things. So thank you so much, Chella, Sella from Australia. Hope you have happy holidays and um, I will definitely enjoy those Thomas Kincaid art cards and probably put them on some, on some pin boards. Okay, I have two more packages next to me and several cards, so hopefully gonna get through as much of that as I can. This next package is coming to me from Marianne in California. Marianne in California, and um, I'm gonna hide her address, but there's lots of cute Disney stickers on the front. 
oh my gosh okay holy moly there's all kinds of fun stuff i don't even know where to start i guess i should start with the card right so here's the card it says for becca with lots of stickers Ooh, and more stickers on the back pocahontas pocahontas stickers i love pocahontas highly underrated movie in my opinion cool card oh i have to show a close-up of this card it's a fantasy land card and it's got mad tea party dumbo and the carousel i love this so much keeping this card i keep pretty much all my cards you guys um because they remind me of how lucky i am to be able to do this uh, once a week on my channel like i'm so lucky and she discovered disney youtube videos this year welcome to the crazy uh, rabbit hole of disney youtube yes and it's a really, really sweet note. So thank you so much, Marianne, um, for writing me a note. And then I'm noticing that there are other notes tacked to the things in this package. So she's written a lot of a lot of lovely things. So let's see what we have here. It looks like we've got maybe some various artworks. Okay, so this first print I'm already loving. This is from an artist named Ashley McElroy. And she said in my Vlogmas last year that I mentioned that White Christmas is one of my favorite Christmas movies. Yes, it is. White Christmas is amazing. And um, this is a White Christmas inspired um, art print that I am obsessed with. I'm in love with this. It actually reminds me of, um, of me and my sister. And we're both natural blondes, by the way. Um, but this is so gorgeous. I'm going to find a frame for this and put it out like for Christmas for years to come. So I'm in love with this. And I love White Christmas. And folks, if you haven't watched White Christmas, watch it. It's the, the one of the best movies with great music and great dancing and just great everything. White Christmas for the win. Okay, this next thing is amazing. It is a pencil illustration of a train. Because I've said many times that I have an affinity toward trains, love trains. And I think this was done by... By her father she says her father's a professional artist so look at this your father made this this is incredible so beautiful um, steam engine it says railroad and then it says the artist is Christopher Peluso that so that must be your father this is amazing yes big train lover here so um, I will treasure this as well thank you so much and then finally it looks like she sent me several prints from her Etsy shop which is called The Girly Nerd, thegirlynerd.com. Girly Nerd is something I can totally relate to. And she says that this stuff is from Once Upon a Time, that these items are from Once Upon a Time, or inspired by Once Upon a Time. You know, the Once Upon a Time show, I've only seen a couple episodes of, and everyone keeps telling me that I like must watch it. And now that the weather is cold and we're like in winter here, I think I'm gonna binge watch Once Upon a Time this coming winter, because I've only seen a few episodes. Everyone tells me I would be super into it, so um, I'm not that familiar with it, only a little. But that's my project for this winter is to like binge all the Once Upon a Time. And I think that will take me quite a while because I think there's been many seasons. Is that correct? Okay, I'm already really excited. This is a magnet and I'm pretty sure that this is Snow White. I might be wrong because like, I've only seen a couple episodes, but I'm pretty sure that that is, that this is Snow. This is her, right? This is Snow White because that's the actress. What's her name? Jennifer Goodwin. Is that her? Um, she's also the voice of Judy Hopps in Zootopia. This is an amazing magnet. It's it's a magnet, people. It's really, really cool. So I'm going to put this on my um, my file cabinet back there. Gorgeous. Please be gentle with me in the comments for not knowing all of the Once Upon a Time people. I, I'm not totally sure. I'm a little like out of my realm of expertise right now. But here's the last print that she sent me. Is it is it Cinderella? Is it Sleeping Beauty? Am I just totally completely off? But be nice about it, please, when you correct me down below. But these were so nice. Marianne, I super appreciate it. I'm especially excited to put that white Christmas print out like today. Um, I'm, my family's gonna get such a kick out of it too because we're all such fans of that film. But thank you so much for your thoughtfulness and I will link to your shop, thegirlynerd.com, uh, down in the description box below. Okay, I have one more box to go through and it's kind of a big box and it kind of got like super mangled in the mail. So I've opened it, but like I didn't do this to it. Like the, the postal service did this to it. It's like totally crazy. So hopefully everything arrived in one piece, but this is from Dylan in New Mexico. This is actually the third package that Dylan has sent me and he is very sweet. We've been chatting a little bit on Instagram, um, but you didn't need to send me all these presents, uh, but I really appreciate you, Dylan. And hi, Dylan. And it looks like there are some like wrapped Christmas gifts in here. So I'm going to pull things out. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm seeing a stocking. I love stockings. My favorite part of Christmas is probably the stockings. I'm not going to lie. I mean, in, in terms of Christmas presents, I love 
my family and like eating and stuff too but i love like stocking stuffer type stuff so i got a stocking from dylan and then oh my gosh there is a gift that is like all wrapped up with a card on it actually there are two more so there's three gifts and a stocking are you kidding me i'm the luckiest girl ever and i need to calm down Whew, okay so I'm gonna start with the card. So I'm gonna start, so I'm gonna start with this card. Super cute with the cactus and then all the Disney stickers around it. So let me open the card first. Oh, what a cute card. It's like Christmas Carol Mickey. Look, look, look. Wishing you a bell ringing song singing joy bringing holiday. Oh my gosh, now look at the inside of this card. Look at this. This has got to go on to my Christmas pin board which is coming this weekend by the way okay i'm gonna go for the stocking first and the thing that is peeking out oh it's like a little um like a little pouch or like a little mini purse and it is a mickey uh premium bar shaped a little pouch or purse it says look inside on the sticky note so um i will i will look inside what is inside oh there's some stuff inside what is happening looks like some fun um keychains and fun things so first we have a red and green uh, chili pepper, so it's definitely make it a spicy holiday. I actually love spicy food. And then we have this keychain, which is a little scorpion with a tail that looks like it's kind of mobile and kind of wags, the scorpion tail. Um, and I'm a Scorpio, that's my uh, astrological sign, so it's perfect for me. I'm, I'm very identified with my Scorpio-ness, by the way. And now look at this cuteness. We have some balloons and Tigger is like hanging off of them on this final keychain. Okay, this is amazing. I've never seen this before, um, but it is adorable. And obviously I love everything Tigger related because my husband's called Tigger. So I love this keychain. I'm gonna put it on something or I might actually put this on my husband's keys. I wonder if he would object to that, um, but it's really cute, really cool. All right, still reaching into this stocking. The next thing I'm pulling out, oh, is a cute little Pluto, um, Pluto Bigfoot elf. I've seen these at the Disney store. I don't have this one. I only have one. I have, I have a little Mickey. He went somewhere. He went somewhere in this office. So here is super cute Pluto. His tongue is hanging out and he's like a little, um, he's like a little Pluto Christmas elf. I love him. And there's even more stuff. So much stuff. Oh my gosh. I think this is a tiki room headband it's a tiki room headband i saw this on instagram i think today and i was like where'd that come from i need that and now i have one uh yeah this is from the disney parks and it's actually a headband that has all the little tiki birds on it and he also sent me a bet midler cd i love bet midler this has become kind of an inside joke between the two of us but i love her and it's actually a bet midler christmas cd huge fan of the Divine Miss M, and this makes me really happy too. I'm gonna play this in my car when I need some uh, Christmas music in this coming week. And then also in my stocking, kind of an even more obscure Disney referenced item, this is the Berlioz opera, Benvenuto Cellini on Blu-ray. And I've never actually heard this opera. Um, Berlioz is my favorite Disney cat from Aristocats because of the classical music connection. My husband and I are both obviously big classical music people, so we will watch this opera, although I don't think either of us um, is very familiar with it, so I'm very curious about this, but Benvenuto Cellini. So yes, I have an, an opera on Blu-ray. Awesome. Dylan, you think of all the things. I get the very distinct impression that you are paying attention to what I'm saying when I'm flapping my lips on this channel, and I appreciate that about you. And that was just a stocking. I still have to do the gifts, so let me do the gifts. I love this paper. It's got this kind of uh, Santa Claus in a truck, and it says, support your local elves. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, I see a Hallmark keepsake ornament. It's gonna make me cry. It's um, it's from Dumbo and it's a baby mine keepsake ornament. Oh, I can't believe that this is even a thing. Look at this ornament. So it is Mrs. Jumbo holding on to Dumbo, but it's not in his like baby, baby form. He's like kind of come into his own cause he's got his flight goggles on and she's got her trunk wrapped around him. And she looks so happy, and this is gorgeous. I am a big fan of Dumbo, especially the Mrs. Jumbo Dumbo connection. It's a little wobbly on there. I wonder if it's supposed to be a separate piece or if it maybe came undone, but I'll just glue that on so it makes sure. Oh my God, I, I'm in love with this. I had no idea this ornament existed. 
I'm putting this on my Disney tree, y'all. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. Um, and it's kind of making me emotional, so thank you. Wow, 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 wow. If you've been around my channel for a while, I'm sure you can figure out why that might make me a bit, a bit emotional. <laughs> um, but thank you, I, I love it, I absolutely love it. All right, here is the second gift. I think it might be another, it is, it's another Hallmark ornament and it's snow. Oh my gosh. This is also just so beautiful. She's got her bluebird in her hand and then a little um, deer and a little squirrel or, or chipmunk. Gorgeous ornaments. I don't really have uh, many, if any, of the Hallmark um, keepsake ornaments, so I'm really excited to have these. I'm gonna take really good care of them though because they are quite um, fragile. They're made of glass, so I, I love them. And Snow and Dumbo and Mrs. Jumbo, like <laughs> who could ask for anything more? Wow. Oh my gosh, those ornaments are over the top nice and precious. All right, and here is the final thing in um, in Dylan's package. I can't believe you sent me all that stuff. That was uh, not worthy, <laughs> but thank you. What is in here? Oh my gosh! I was kind of hoping for something like this this Christmas. It's a Disney puzzle, and it's one of the Ravensburger puzzles, like the nice, these puzzles are super nice. And it's a Dumbo collector's edition puzzle. And it's the scene where he's getting a bath, and this is right before the pink elephants on parade um, scene, which I also really love in Dumbo, but it's got Dumbo, and he's in the bath, and he's there with Timothy. And um, it, these Ravensburger puzzles are gorgeous, and they're, I mean, they're quite involved and like very, very high quality. And um, I was kind of wishing for another Disney puzzle to maybe do over the Christmas break with my family or with my husband, so this is perfect, and I love it. Wow, thank you, Dylan, so much. I'll message you on Instagram and, and gush a little bit more, but that was an amazing package, and thank you for all your thoughtfulness, and I can't believe you sent me a Berlioz opera. Who does that? Only you, only you. So um, so thank you very, very much and, and big hugs in New Mexico. Okay, that's the end of the incredible packages for today. I do have a few holiday cards that have come that I'd like to share with you really quick. This is from Madison in Connecticut. Hi, Madison in Connecticut. Card says Disney Kitty on it. Oh, how cool, look at this. I think this is maybe like a handmade card. I think she might've put this together herself. It's like super 3D and holiday-ish and so pretty. I wonder if I can fit this onto my Christmas pin board as well. My Christmas pin board is gonna be off the hook, you guys. Uh, that's coming this weekend. I'm still putting a few things on it, but oh my gosh, I've got so many things I need to add now. It says, Merry Christmas, Becca, Aaron, Molly, and Suki. Oh, my whole family. Hope your holiday is filled with love and cheer and happy memories. I've loved watching your videos this year and getting to enjoy some Disney magic at home. She also says that she wants to know if there's a reason my username is spelled Disney Kitty with two E's instead of a Y. You know what, there's not a big reason other than Kitty is my nickname, it's what my husband calls me, and when he writes cards to me, that's how he spells it. He writes, you know, Dear Kitty, K-I-T-T-E-E, -E, he'll write, um, when he writes me like cards and <laughs> like love notes. And so when I was making the channel name, I, I wanted to make it Disney Kitty, like my nickname, rather than just like generic Disney cat. Does that make sense? So not a good story, but that's the reason why. And then she's also sent me a really super sweet handwritten note that I will spend some time reading after I turn the record button off. So um, I really do appreciate the letters. I wish I could hand write back to everybody. I try to send an email, but I have a hang on that right now as well. So we'll connect and, um, and thank you, Madison. And, and wow, I have another card here from Richelle, Richelle in uh, Texas. I'm not gonna show you her return address, but her return address label has um, the Incredibles family on it, which is super cute. So hello to Michelle in Texas. Oh, and it's a Mickey card. There's Mickey in front of a tree, looking adorable. It says, Merry Christmas, Becca. Thank you for such awesome YouTube content. You were a big inspiration for us starting our partially Disney YouTube channel. The channel is the Dawn, the Dawn Tees, Dawn Ties, Dawn Tees. I'll, I'll link it down below. Sometimes I say things wrong. I know these goodies will have a good home with you. Love, Rochelle and Donna. Well, thanks, Rochelle and Donna. I love the card. And look what they tucked in. I've got a little Zootopia um, playing card with Chief Bogo on the back. And then there are some Beauty and the Beast 
bookmarks. They are little magnetic um, bookmarks, so they kind of clip over the top of whatever page you're on, and I do love reading, and Belle is perfect for books, obviously, so those are adorable. Thank you. This next card is from Ileana in Florida. Hello, Ileana. She put a bunch of cute Disney stickers on hers as well. There's some on the back, too. Love Disney stickers on my cards. This has a sweet snowman on it. It says, Happy Holidays. It says, Dear Becca, I wanted to send you this Christmas card to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas. I found your channel a few months ago, and she started her own YouTube channel. I used to think that as an adult, still loving Disney at my age was strange, but thanks to you, I openly share my love with everyone. Oh, that's really sweet. So her YouTube channel is Up, Up, and Away Adventures. Such a cute YouTube channel name. I'll, uh, I'll check it out. I'll stick a link down below, and I'll check it out. Thank you so much. Uh, Ileana. Next I have a card from Chelsea in Texas. Hello Chelsea in Texas. This is to me and Aaron. Sweet when people mention Aaron. This is from Charlie, Chelsea, and Nora in Texas. It's a family photo card and I want to be respectful and not show uh, their card on the internet because you know they've got a young one and you know there's rules against that and also I just I want to be respectful but it's a beautiful card, beautiful family and thank you Chelsea and hi and hugs to you all. I think I have time for just one more card and I will catch up on the rest of them next week, which is Christmas Eve already, if you can believe that. So this is from Kara. Hi, Kara. I know you, Kara. Kara in Massachusetts. Kara is the person that sent me that really cool Mickey Mouse uh, shaped pin board, if you remember. So Kara's awesome. And Kara has also sent me, oh, a family photo card. With love to our family from yours, Kara, Tim, Cheyenne, Noel, and Nikki. And again, I don't want to show on the internet because it's just family photos and things. I just, I want to be respectful because not everybody wants their face plastered on, on the internet. So thank you so much, Kara. Beautiful card. I love the kitty in the picture. So thank you so much. Happy holidays to your family and, and also to your kitty. All right, that was a very magical Magic Mail Monday. Thank you so much to everyone who sent me something. I super appreciate it. I have a lot of catching up to do next week on next week's Magic Mail Monday. And also, I do have some pin mail to share with you. And normally I kind of alternate Magic Mail, pin mail, Magic Mail, pin mail. But I've been trying to catch up on Magic Mail. So I'm gonna put a bonus pin mail video later this week, probably Thursday, before I get my pin board up later on the weekend so there's a lot of stuff to film and upload this week vlogmas is definitely like making itself very present in my life right now uh thank you so much for watching i hope your week is off to a magical start and if you are here for disney pin advent calendars those are coming up right now it is disney advent calendar time for december 17th so starting with disneyland paris we'll open this up and look around for door 17. There's fewer and fewer that I haven't opened, so they're getting a little bit easier to spot. It's this one up here by the very top of the castle. And I wonder which character is waiting for us today. It's Eeyore. There he is, he says, thanks for noticing me. There is Eeyore, so so far in this calendar I've gotten Piglet, Tigger, and Eeyore, so I'm guessing, I'm hoping, Winnie the Pooh is gonna be one of these final few uh, doors. And here is my mystery pin calendar for December 17th. It's this little red door with the, uh, the snowflakes on it. Open this up and pull out today's mystery pin blind bag. Love shaking these things around. Maybe it gives me good luck. Probably not, but maybe. Let's open this one up. Oh, I think you've got another Hollywood Studios pin. I like this pin set. And this one is the little clapper, but it features Tinkerbell. I've mentioned this before, but I'm starting to have kind of an affinity toward Tinkerbell. I used to kind of despise her. I thought she was mean, but now I, I relate. I don't know. Tink and I have come a long way. Cool pin though. That is it for today's advent calendar openings. I'll have two more doors to open for you tomorrow. Hope you're having a magical day and I'll see you real soon. Bye guys. Bye.